And a Palm Springs neighborhood is outraged tonight over a planned power outage. Several weeks ago, they contacted us hoping the work could be rescheduled for the cooler months. But it wasn't. Our Angela Monroe is live in Palm Springs where the power is still out during the heat of the day. Angela. Do you know, I literally just got word like 30 seconds ago that the power is actually back on now for nearly 400 customers in Palm Springs. Now, as you can see behind me, crews have been working to replace this power pole and they're still working along the transmission line here. Now, the work was supposed to start at 830, but neighbors say that it started, instead started at 1030. But it looks like it is, in fact, completed at the time they said, which is right at 4 p.m. The misters and AC are on at this Palm Springs restaurant, and that's why this group of neighbors escaped their stifling homes once the planned power outage began. It's here, and I'm, I'm pretty upset because, you know, I, I work late at night. I should be home sleeping in right now so I can get ready and go back to work at 4. The outage was originally planned for two weeks ago, but was rescheduled. I would prefer them to do it late at night, you know, maybe when we're asleep so we don't have to deal with the heat when it's a little cooler out, or plan it for later in the, you know, the uh, late summer, like, you know, October, you know, September, October. A local Southern California Edison spokesperson told me they schedule around when they can drop the electricity load while causing the least impact to the power grid. Um, from what I was told uh, from a neighbor that has lived in our area for quite a while is that this particular pole that they were working on has had um, or has been an issue for at least the, the last year. And this is something that they could have actually planned during the cooler months. The SCE spokesperson could not tell me when they found out the transmission pole was deteriorated. But they said when they find faulty equipment, they have a process to go through with the Public Utilities Commission to have the work done within a couple of months. But neighbors say planning outages and triple-digit heat should be avoided at all costs. It's very frustrating. It's very irresponsible for them. Um, if somebody ends up sick in the hospital, there's a lot of seniors. If somebody ends up with heat stroke or, or possibly dying, um, they're going to find themselves in a lot of trouble. So they should think before they do things like this in triple digits. The SoCal Edison spokesperson also told me that sometimes these daytime outages are actually safer because people can leave their homes, unlike at night. Once again, we just found word that the power is back on, but once again, residents did have to go without power here from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. for about 400 people. Live in Palm Springs, I'm Angela Monroe. Now back to you.